Hello, my name is Emily McKenzie and I am a children's book author and illustrator and I'm here in my Edinburgh studio today um, in my house. This is the room that I um, write the stories, the words for my books and I draw the pictures. Um, I feel really lucky that this is my job because for as long as I can remember I've always loved drawing pictures and I, when I was little, I used to make up stories and turn them into books um, with little bits of paper and staplers. And um, I, I, I've always loved writing stories. So I thought I would show you some of the books that I've made. Um, and you might have seen some of them before, or maybe you haven't. But this one is called Wanted, Ralphie Rabbit Book, by, book Burglar about a rabbit called Ralphie who um, loves reading so much that he starts stealing books from people's houses, which is a bit naughty, isn't it? This one is called Beware, Ralphie Rabbit and the Secret Book Biter, which is also about Ralphie Rabbit. But in this one, he has a little brother. Um, so uh, that one's quite new. And then there's this one, Stanley the Amazing Knitting Cat, about a cat called Stanley who loves to knit and he makes things for his friends and his family. And it's about being kind. Um, and uh, then there's this one, there's Broccoli My Ice Cream, about a little dog called Granville who is a fussy eater. And that was inspired by um, some of my family and friends, children who um, have fruit and vegetables that they don't like very much. Um, and then there is this book called Eric Makes a Splash. And this is the story I wanted to read you, to you today. Um, so as you can see, this is a panda called Eric. And um, this book is about overcoming your worries and fears and trying things that you've never done before um, and you might be able to tell that Eric is in the swimming pool or at a swimming pool and maybe it's about um, trying to go swimming for the first time and I wanted to make this book because um, when I was a little girl I was a bit scared of um, worried about trying things I've never done, I had never done. So going places that were um, new to me would make me a little bit frightened sometimes, starting school, um, I, going to play with people I'd never, um, I, I didn't know very well, or um, going places I'd never been, or doing things a bit frightening like going up big slides or to parks was sometimes a little bit scary so I wanted to make a book for uh, to help children um, not feel worried about trying new things and um, so I hope you like it this um, I'm going to read it now so Eric make a splash Eric was a worrier he worried about noises in the night. He worried about finding spiders in his welly boots. He worried about getting lost in the dark, in the park. But nothing worried Eric more than trying new things. Luckily, Eric had a brave and kind best friend who helped him feel brave too. Flora was fearless and Eric thought she was just wonderful. Look, they're holding frogs. On Monday, Flora wanted to splash in muddy puddles, but Eric worried about getting his boots dirty. Why don't you pretend you're a piglet rolling in the mud or a hippo having a bath, suggested Flora. Soon they were splashing and splashing together. On Tuesday, Eric worried that he wouldn't like the new sandwich filling his mother put in his pat lunch. Why don't you pretend you're a bear, Eric, said Flora. Bears love honey 
and they're big and strong and very fuzzy wuzzy, but it tastes yummy. Eric wasn't sure, but he had a bite and Flora was right. Honey was delicious. On Wednesday, Eric worried that the very tall climbing frame was making his knees wobbly. Why don't you pretend you're a spider on a giant sticky web, said Flora. Then you won't fall off. And on Thursday, Eric was worried about the scary dark. Let's pretend we're owls, Eric, said Flora. They fly at night all the time. Together, they hooted and twit wooed loudly. Twit -a woo But on Friday, Something arrived in the post that made Eric feel very worried indeed. It was an invitation to a swimming party. Dear Eric, you are invited to Desmond and Raymond's swimming party. 2pm on Saturday at the Soggy Towel Swimming Pool. See you there. Don't forget your towel. This sent Eric into a worrying world. What if his fur got wet? What if water went in his eyes? And what if he sank to the bottom of the pool? Oh, he's worrying a lot, isn't he? Why don't we go to the shop, uh, go shopping and buy you some new swimming trunks, said Flora. But even Eric's favourite pair didn't make him feel any braver. Ta-da, said Flora. Look, a swimming cap with a dinosaur on it. This will keep your fur dry. And how about these goggles? But Eric still worried until... Now we're getting somewhere, said Eric with a smile. Look, he's got armbands and three, one, two, three rubber rings. He looks very happy, doesn't he? Finally, they were off to the pool. Look, here's Eric and Flora. They've gone to the swimming pool to see Raymond and Desmond and all their friends are there with presents for their birthday party. Splash, splish, splash, splosh. Everyone jumped in, but Eric just sat on the side. Why don't you pretend you're a dolphin or a seal or a shark or a turtle, said Flora. They're all great at swimming. He looks a bit worried, doesn't he? But this time, the idea of pretending to be something else didn't make Eric feel braver. He looks worried. He dipped one toe in the water. Then he heard Flora say, You can do it, Eric. So he took a very deep, brave breath and... Splash! He was in the water and he felt very proud of himself until... <sighs> Sam slipped in a puddle whoop, and knocked Desmond who accidentally pushed Raymond in. Raymond bounced on Betty who fell backwards into the boat. Whoa! Susie went soaring through the air. Wee! And everybody went quiet. Pop! But something amazing was happening. Flora, look, Flora, cried Eric. I'm swimming all by myself. Eric had never felt braver in his life. But Flora didn't answer because Flora was standing at the top of a very, very, very tall slide looking very, very, very worried. <sighs> Luckily, Eric knew just what to do. Why don't we pretend to be penguins? He said, they are very good at sliding. Flora smiled. You know what, Eric? I think that is a very, very, very good idea. So after a few very deep, very brave breaths, Flora and Eric held hands and counted to three. Can you do that with me? 
One, two, three, and swoosh, swish, slippy, slidey, splish, splosh, splash. They made it all the way to the bottom together because best friends are always there when you need them, smiled Eric. So that book wasn't just about learning to swim and going swimming for the first time. It was about helping your friends and being kind and helping your friends be brave um, if they're a bit scared of trying something new. And uh, being brave yourself and trying other new things uh, that you haven't done before. So I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I thought now I could maybe try drawing Eric the panda for you. And I'll show you how to draw, how I draw Eric using simple shapes. And then I might try colouring him in. And you could have a go at drawing Eric your own sometime. Okay. Hello again. I've moved the camera around now so that it's above my desk, um, which is where I draw a lot of the pictures for my books. And I thought I could have a go at showing you how I draw Eric uh, using simple circle and oval shapes. So that if you decide that you want to have a go at drawing your own Eric, um, you'll uh, be able to try drawing him the way that I do. Um, so I think I will try um, drawing him a little bit like this with his shorts. And um, I have some of the uh, colour pencils and crayons that I use for when I draw him. And I usually use bottles of ink to colour him in. But it if you want to try drawing him, you can use colour pens, crayons, pencil, anything that you have, maybe poster paints. Um, or if you don't want to try drawing him yourself, you may, could maybe get the help of a grown-up and then you would be able to uh, colour him in afterwards. So um, I'll just sit down on my chair and hopefully you can see what I'm doing okay. Um, but what I do is I start by drawing a nice big circle for Eric's head and I add two ovals, uh, sorry, um, semicircles to the top for his ears and colour them in with a bit of scribble like this. And then I draw two big oval shapes or egg shapes with circles inside and then this bit between the circle and the oval edge of the oval I colour in with a bit of scribble so this bit is going to be black and the circle inside is going to stay white for now and then I'm going to draw his nose which is a sort of mushroom shape. So we start here and go round, down to a point and then up again like that. And then colour in with a bit of scribble. And then we, from the, this pointy bit, we go down and you can either have him with a, like a sort of sad or worried upside down smile, like a rainbow sort of shape or you can give him a bit of a cheeky grin. So I think I'll give him a bit of a smile today, like this. And then two lines here for eyebrows. And then we draw the middle of his eyes, the pupils, which are two nice big black dots. Give a bit more scribble for texture like that and that is Eric's face. Now then I draw two lines down here like this um, and then I think I might put his armbands on today so I've got a, an orange crayon and I draw two square shapes 
like that. Colour them in with a bit of orange. And then, um, now I've not quite made the shoulders wide enough, so I'll sort that out in a minute. They go down and then one, two, three, four wiggles like this. Um, one, two, three, four wiggles for his fingers. And we give him a bit of a line across his chest because the top of Panda's chest are black. And then I'm just going to make that bit wider. You don't need to do that. And then colour in this section up to the line with a bit of scribble. And his arms like that. And then, now I'm going to leave a gap here and take my uh, turquoise pencil to draw his shorts. So I draw a line across and then I go down, along, up into a sort of arch shape, along again and up. Draw another line along and then a bow. You can leave that bit off if you don't want to do that. And then two more lines and then you've got his shorts. And I draw some lines at the top like that for his waistband. And now you know where his shorts are. You can draw the side of his body. And I go to do his legs. I take the black again and I go down along. One, two, three, four wiggles for one foot. And then the same on this side, but the opposite way. So down, along, one, two, three, four, and up again. Colour them in a bit black. Like this. And this is Eric. Now, um, oh, I've forgotten the zigzag on his shorts. So I give him a nice big red zigzag. Look, one, two, three. Three, four, five, and then the same. This, but if you don't want to draw a zigzag on your shorts, you could do spots or stripes or hearts or um, stars or whatever you like. And this is Eric. Now, for the next bit, I think I might just colour him in and uh, I might try and speed that up with the camera um, so you can see it a bit faster. I hope you enjoyed watching me draw Eric and that you like the story um, and thank you very much for watching today. Take care. Bye.